Hi, I'm Ron Fosner, I'm part of the Software Solutions Group, and we're here at IDF to demonstrate the Smoke the Halem demo. This is a demonstration of the power of a multi-core system. And I'll turn on the demonstration. So what we do is we have a nice pastoral farm scene, which is hit by a meteor shower. And what we've got is we've got uh, some havoc physics in the, on the barn and the, ha the farmhouse. You can see the meteors rolling off in the background. And you can see this procedural fire system. What we've got is we've got a very clever way of actually creating fire particles, having them spread throughout the system and catch things on fire. And when something catches on fire, it too becomes a fire emitter. So we actually have this very rich scene. Um, we've got this fire system that actually will spread across a tree in the canopy of the trees and start catching things next to it on fire. And this is a simulation that's running on the CPU. So we've got a, a four core Nehalem system running eight threads total. And as you can see, we're, we're maxing about 70 to 75 percent of the CPU system on all four or on all four cores on all eight threads. And as the simulation runs, we actually catch more and more things on fire. Until eventually, with most of the trees on fire, we're getting about 50 to 60,000 fire particles all interacting in the scene and running that simulation on the CPU. We take the results of the simulation, every frame, and then put it on the graphics system so you can actually see what the results are. And here you can see the house is destroyed. There's actually animals running around. There's an AI system for horses, chickens, and sparrows. They're all trying to avoid the fire, but keep next to each other and avoid each other. So you'll be able to see some of the sparrows up in the sky flocking around. So what we've got is we've got a simulated fire system. We're taking um, 50 to 60,000 particles on the CPU, running them up, spread across all eight threads, taking the results of that simulation, feeding it back into the graphics system, and creating a very rich environment. What we're trying to do is is create a demonstration system through the Nehalem Smoke demo of a way of actually dividing up uh, a very complex simulation across multiple cores, taking the results of that simulation, putting it back to create a richer uh, visual environment, a richer visual um, stimulation for the user. So what we're doing is we actually have it set up so we can actually run this on a dual core system, a four core system, uh, a variable number of threads. So we're actually trying to promote the use of uh, game developers and application engineers uh, as a way of taking advantage of a multi-core system to design multi-core systems in mind of future enhancements. So if the user upgrades their PC from a dual core system to a quad core system or from a quad core to an eight core system, uh, the simulation will take advantage of that and actually create a much richer environment from that simulation to just based on according to the number of CPUs that they have in the system. To be able to take advantage of more cores. Yes. More yes, we want to, want to take out as much obsolescence from it as, as possible because uh, people right now create a lot of games for the current GPU system, whereas they're not taking full advantage of the CPUs that are on the system. And with a little bit of work, you can actually create a very nice, scalable system. Uh, what we've done with the Halem demo is actually create a procedural fire system, a procedural tree system that scales very nicely. So if you have uh, a system that's core aware, you can actually scale the environment to fit the number of cores on. And when the user upgrades it to a higher number of cores, they can get a much richer environment from the same code. So with a little bit of work, it's actually creating a much richer experience for the user. Very cool. And where would someone go or what would someone do if they wanted to get a hold of the code? Uh, you can call, uh, send an email to smokecode at intel.com. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.